Good morning. God bless you. A blessed Thursday to everyone. We're going to pray the rosary and for priests on this Thursday. Pray for those priests that we've promised to pray for on Thursdays. For all priests who help us in any way. allergies started this morning so I hope I can get through this the neighbor was cutting the lawn and the windows are closed but it's all I can imagine although I cut the lawn yesterday and didn't have a problem all right we're gonna have to push through you have just a second to get your coffee and your rosary Pray for especially, like Our Lady Estin Fatima, the conversion of Russia and the triumph of the Immaculate Heart in the world, but also just in our homes and our cities, our hearts, our lives, that our hearts may come more and more every day on earth to reflect her Immaculate Heart, her pure heart. We pray for the end of the war in the Ukraine. We pray for our work as they begin to receive the funds for um, reprinting of our books here. We pray for all of the fruitfulness of the work in Pakistan and Nigeria and Uganda and the ongoing work in Colombia and Mexico, Belize, Peru, Oopsie, Brazil, India. We pray for a vendor in Poland and this upcoming trip of mine for a Russian translator. We pray for all of our donors and our future donors. We pray for our families and those who might not have families. Those who feel alone in this world, orphans, but foster children, but also those who feel abandoned from their family. We pray for those in need of conversion, those who have died, those on their deathbed, for those who are ill. We pray for Levi and Liam, Colton, Jonathan, Audrey. We pray for... Um, those who are mourning the loss of a loved one, those who are working in the world to promote the faith, different ministries and lay catechists. We pray for the work of my books, the ones I've written, the ones I'm supposed to write, the art, the podcasts, and these rosaries for protection. We pray for all of the um, intentions of everyone on any of these pages, those who entrust their intentions to us, those who've hurt or helped us in any way in our lives, or those that maybe we've hurt or that we've helped, that the Lord has connected us to. We pray for all of our own personal private intentions. We all have so many. So we ask the Lord to look deep in our hearts as we pray for each other. We know that in his mercy, he answers us. 
I'm afraid that my allergy stuff, I have no idea what set those off, but I have to go finish cutting the lawn. I ran out of gas yesterday. So I can't be a mess outside, right? God loves and cares for our little needs and our big needs. Okay, all sorts of people here. Good morning, everybody. We start in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, O Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass. I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name, for all the desires of, our, of your sacred heart, in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart, and our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you. I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my heart, my entire, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. And we pray, oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. We remember Pope Francis, the cardinals, archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for all of them. We pray for their continued protection, both physically and spiritually, for their intentions, for their continued conversion, for the foundation of humility and integrity, for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage, fortitude, mercy, generosity, and love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we pray those luminous mysteries, those mysteries of light this morning. The first luminous mystery of light is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. In this mystery, we remember all of the young men who, as they're baptized, receive their vocation to the priesthood. 
right? They have that spiritual tattoo. They're made children of God. And within that identity is the purpose for which they were created. We want to pray for all young men who are going to be called to the priesthood, even in their infancy, their childhood, their religious formation, so that the Lord may preserve them from sin, may give them extra special graces to preserve that vocation. We pray for more and holier vocations. And we pray that we can live our baptismal graces and promises. We pray for those who haven't received the grace of baptism to be baptized. My beloved Jesus, by the precious blood which you shed on the day of the circumcision, deign to watch over the infancy and early education of the children whom you have destined to minister at the altar, that they may be preserved spotless until consecrated to you by the holy unction. Bless the families that honor your precious blood and spread this devotion by choosing from them a large number of vocations to the priesthood and by maintaining their fervor until the close of their lives. Lord Jesus, by the precious blood which you shed in the Garden of Olives, take pity on aspirants to the priesthood, who through the temptations of the evil one or dread of the responsibilities of the sacred ministry are in danger of losing their vocation. Impart to these tortured souls sufficient courage to make the sacrifices by which the Eucharistic chalice must be purchased. And in return for their generosity, inebriate them deliciously at the altar with the blood which in heaven will be their eternal source of delight. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. So the first luminous mystery is that baptism of Jesus. The baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee.
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. In this mystery, we remember all marriages, especially those preparing for marriage, those who've been married outside the church to come home. For those who have struggling marriages, we pray for those longing to find a husband or a wife. And we remember in this mystery the practical needs of um, our lives. You know, Our Lady cared about the fact that this young couple ran out of wine. There's a lot of things that we could insert there for that word where we ask Our Lady, please tell Jesus, you know, we have no more money. We have no more, you know, patience. We have no more hope. We have no more direction, right? What is it that we need from the Lord? We ask with confidence for Our Lady to intercede for us. And we also ask for the grace to then follow her instructions, which is do whatever he tells you. That we may hear his will and that we may fulfill it. We, we pray for um, obedience, right, to the Holy Spirit and to what the Lord is asking of us. We pray for priests in these, um, these difficult times to be provided with what they need for their ministry, both temporally and spiritually but to not cling to it, to keep that virtue of a simplicity, a poverty of heart where they cling only to Christ as their treasure. And we pray for them in their difficult role of obedience, especially to um, their bishops. Um, and especially when um, it's not clear exactly, you know, what needs to be done in a situation. We ask the Lord to give them that spirit of obedience that imitates his own obedience to the Father. Lord Jesus, by the precious blood shed in thy painful scourging, shield with thy own special protection, and that of your Immaculate Mother, all the ministers of the sanctuary, so that having renounced the goods of earth in order to belong entirely to you, they may every day offer and receive the body and blood with such pious dispositions as to enable you to find in their hearts a paradise of delight. Lord Jesus, by the precious blood which you shed in your crowning with thorns, we beseech you to maintain our clergy in such filial submission to the Holy See and its representatives as will forever secure for them the veneration, confidence, and docility of the faithful children of the Holy Church. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. The wedding at Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Raducia Maria. Blagadati Polnaya Gaspot Stapoya. Blagoslavian Natimia Stajonami, E Blagoslavian Plodchereva Tvayavo Isus, Svetaya Maria Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Greshni, Nini Ivcha Smirti Nashi Amen. 
Polish, Starowa, Maria, Waski, Pauna, Pan Stado, Bogosławiona, Sti, Nienzenevastani, I Bogosławioni, Ova, Shivata, Twajego, Jesus, Shwenta, Maria, Matka, Boja, Moodle, Shizanami, Kshishnimi, Terasiv, Gojina, I Shmerjina, Shi Amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedetta fra le donne, i benedetto al frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagera Tipolnaya, Gaspod Stavoya, Blagoslavian Natim Yeshta Jonami, I Blagoslavian Plagereva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Greshni, Nini ich čas smirti naši, amen, polež. Strovaš Marija, vaski pauna, pan s tabom. Bogoslavjona štimjen za nevastani i bogoslavjoni ovoč života tvojego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, mudlše za nami kšišnimi. Teraz i v godžina i šmirti naši, amen, spjenež. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, i benedetto al frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the gospel and the call to conversion, the healing miracles in this mystery. We pray for the gift of preaching and exhortation and spiritual direction that priests have, that the Lord may make them more translucent um, instruments of the Holy Spirit and his word, his divine word that wants to speak through them. We pray for our words to have that power and authority of Christ 
because our hearts are resting within his hands that his spirit is speaking through us we pray for efficacy when we um, speak to people so that um, great graces can come to people from our words right whether they be written words like in my books or in the podcast spoken words here in the rosary or maybe it's a phone call that you'll get today and you um, are trying to encourage someone in the faith or um, in you know sometimes two people have a healing ministry where they say you know are praying for healing for efficacy in those words and we pray for the gift of healing for all those who are ill both physically ill, spiritually ill, caught in sin, um, or maybe emotionally ill, where they've broken relationships and don't have that maturity to come back and to heal those, whether it be within a family or friendships, within the church. We just, we pray for healing. We pray for conversion. <clears throat> we pray for a true knowledge of and repentance for sin. And we pray for all of the sufferings that come to priests in these ministries, right? Maybe they're anointing somebody who is um, really ill and dying. That's, there's a suffering they experience in ministering to them, right? Or, you know, somebody who's repeatedly coming back with the same grave mortal sin and confession. There's a suffering. And sometimes priests preach the truth and they're persecuted for it. They can be persecuted even within the church. So we pray for the sufferings that priests have um, and that the Lord may alleviate those through his precious blood. And we pray, Lord Jesus, by thy precious blood shed on the way to Calvary, take pity on priests who are victims of injustice, who like their adorable model receive in return for their devotedness but trials, crosses, and persecutions. And Lord Jesus, by thy blood of the crucifixion, inflame with ever-increasing zeal the dispensers of your blood. Grant that thirsting like you for souls, they may continue the work of your bloody passion, increasing its efficacy by applying its merits. Succor most of all poor missionaries who after watering with their sweat and their tears the soil in which they have sown the divine seed may still be called upon to die with their blood, the land upon which they planted the cross. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth mystery is the transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor. In this mystery, we pray for all priests who are on their deathbed and all those who have died that are in purgatory, that they may be transfigured in Christ, that they may be brought to eternal life. And we also pray for our own lives that we may live that transfiguration that we were drawn into in our baptism that is renewed every confession we have, every Eucharist that we receive, every Mass we attend, every time we're anointed. And through our confirmation that all of those gifts that are supposed to transfigure us in light through the Holy Spirit may come alive within us. Lord Jesus, through the blood and water shed by you after death, take special pity, we beseech you, on those among your ministers who will soon be mown down by death. If through human frailty they've become the debtors of your justice, grant this very day that infinitely precious blood may discharge their obligations. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria. Lagadati polnaya. Gaspots taboy. Blagoslavian Natinez de Jonami, I Blagoslavian Vancereva, Tvai Omnisius, Svetaya Maria Mater Bosha, Malisa Nas Greshni, Nimi Ivcha Smirtina, she Amen, Polish, Strovash Maria, Waski Pauna, Panstabo, Bogoslaviona, Stinians and Avastami, I Bogoslavioni, Ova Chevota, Tvaiego Yesa. Shventa Maria Matka Bosha Budosha Zanami Kshishnami Terra Sivgojina Ishmerchina Shi Amen Spanish Dios de Salve Maria Yena de Este Gracia El Señor es contigo Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús Santa Maria Madre de Dios Rega por nosotros pecadores 
ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Atalia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Leate. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu en mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa María, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et en hora mortis nostri. Amén. Russia. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnea, Gaspot Staboyu, Blagaslavian Natim Yeshta Jonami, I Blagaslavian Plochereva, Traia Vobisus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Bosha Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini Ivcha Smirti Nashi Amen, Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoswavionash Timian Zanabastami, I Bogoswavion. Avot Shavota Trego Jesus, Shventa Maria Matka Boja Mudal Shizanami Chishnini, Terasiv Gojina I Shmirchi Nashi Amen, Spanish. Dios de Salve Maria, Yenereis de Grazia, Senores Contigo, Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega por nosotros pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erar in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist as a foreshadowing of the cross. In this mystery, we pray in honor of the Eucharist. We pray that all priests may celebrate the Eucharist worthily. The Eucharist, the adoration, that the Mass may be the center of their lives, that they may do an hour of adoration every day, that they may have perpetual adoration in all their parishes, in their shrines, in their homes. We pray for the Eucharist to be the center of our lives that every family may have hours of adoration that they attend either individually or together, that we may understand the sublime gift that we are given and that we rearrange our life around the sacred heart of Jesus present in the Eucharist. And we pray St. Vincent Pilate's prayer to the Blessed Sacrament, Jesus and the Eucharist, our God and our King, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our creator and redeemer, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our physician and medicine, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our food and grace, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our greatest good and happiness, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, infinitely loving and worthy of love, pray for us. 
Jesus, in the Eucharist, you are the greatest and most holy of our mysteries. Pray for us. The institution of the Eucharist as a foreshadowing of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand. 
sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so proud before the throne of God, I place in you my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. We beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O princess of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this night be at our side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And we pray for the souls of the faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May your, their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. We pray St. Patrick's breastplate prayer. I arise today through mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire and the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me. From the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill, far and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ has shielded me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, disobedience, disrespect, profanity, fear, worry, confusion, misunderstanding, greed, apathy, laziness, jealousy, ignoring, competition, blocking and division, rash or false judgment, 
vanity, selfishness, and pride, anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and every evil that could come against me or those for whom I pray, so there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And we pray some extra prayers for priests today. St. Therese of Lisieux's prayer. O oh Jesus, I pray for your faithful and fervent priests, for your unfaithful and tepid priests, for your priests laboring at home or abroad in distant mission fields, for your tempted priests, your lonely and desolate priests, for your young priests and your dying priests, for the souls of your priests in purgatory. But above all, I recommend to you the priests dearest to me, the priest who baptized me, the priest who absolved my sins, the priests at whose masses I assisted and who gave me your body and blood in Holy Communion, the priest who taught and instructed me, those who are my family, those who I'm friends with, and those who the Lord has entrusted to my prayer in a special way. For all the priests to whom I'm indebted in any way, especially for we can name those priests. O oh Jesus, keep them all close to your heart and bless them abundantly in time and in eternity. Amen. O oh Jesus, eternal priest, keep your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may touch them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, daily purpled with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of the priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit. May the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation. Here and in heaven, their beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. St. John Vianney's Prayer for Priests. Please, God, give to your church today many more priests after your own heart. May they be worthy representatives of Christ the Good Shepherd. May they wholeheartedly devote themselves to prayer and penance, be examples of humility and poverty, shining models of holiness, tireless and powerful preachers of the word of God, zealous dispensers of your grace and the sacraments. May their loving devotion to your son Jesus in the Eucharist and to Mary his mother be the twin fountains of fruitfulness for their ministry. St. Pope John Paul II's prayer for priests to Our Lady. Mother of Jesus and Mother of Priests, accept this title which we bestow on you to celebrate your motherhood and to contemplate with you the priesthood of your son and of your sons, O Holy Mother of God. Mother of Christ, to the Messiah priest, you gave a body of flesh through the anointing of the Holy Spirit for the salvation of the poor and the contrite of heart. Guard priests in your heart and in the church, O Mother of the Savior. Mother of faith, you accompanied the temple of the Son of Man, the fulfillment of the promises given to the fathers. Give to the Father for his glory the priests of your Son, O Ark of the Covenant. Mother of the Church, with the disciples in the upper room, you prayed to the Spirit for the new people and their shepherds. Obtain for the order of presbyters a fullness of gifts, O Queen of the Apostles. Mother of Jesus Christ, you were with him at the beginning of his life and of his mission. You sought the Master among the crowd. You stood beside him when he was lifted up from the earth, consumed as the one eternal sacrifice. And you had John close by you, close by you, your son. Except from the beginning, those who have been called protect their growth, accompany your sons in their life and in their ministry, O Mother of Priests. And Mother Teresa of Calcutta's prayer for priests. 
Mary, mother of Jesus, throw your mantle of purity over our priests. Protect them, guide them, and keep them in your heart. Be a mother to them, especially in times of discouragement and loneliness. Love them and keep them belonging completely to Jesus. Like Jesus, they too are your sons, so keep their hearts pure and virginal. Keep their minds filled with Jesus and put Jesus always on their lips. So he is the one they offer to sinners and to all that they need. Mary, mother of Jesus, be their mother, loving them and bringing them joy. Take special care of sick and dying priests and the ones most tempted. Remember how they spent their, their youth and old age, their entire life, serving and giving all to Jesus. Mary, bless them and keep a special place for them in your heart. Give them a piece of your heart, so beautiful and pure and immaculate, so full of love and humility, so that they too can grow in the likeness of Christ. Dear Mary, make them humble like you and holy like Jesus. Father Benedict Grishel's Prayer for Priests Lord Jesus Christ, eternal high priest, you offered yourself to the Father on the altar of the cross, and through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, you gave your priestly people a share in your redeeming sacrifice. Hear our prayers this morning for the sanctification of our priests. Grant that all who are ordained to the ministerial priesthood may be ever more conformed to you, their divine master. May they preach the gospel with a pure heart and a clear conscience. Let them be shepherds according to your own heart, single-minded in the service to you and your church, and shining examples of a holy, simple, and joyful life. Through the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, your mother and ours, draw all priests and the flocks entrusted to their care, to the fullness of eternal life where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. St. Faustina's Prayer for Priests Heavenly Father, grant that our priests may be strengthened and healed by the power of the Eucharist they celebrate. May the word they proclaim give them courage and wisdom. We pray that all those whom they seek to serve may see in them the love and care of Jesus, our eternal high priest, who is Lord forever and ever. Mary, mother of the church, look tenderly upon your sons, our priests. St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, pray for us all. O oh my Jesus, I beg you on behalf of the whole church, grant it love and the light of your Holy Spirit and give power to the words of the priests who serve us so that hardened hearts may be brought to repentance and return to you, O oh Lord. Lord, give us holy priests. May you yourself maintain them in holiness. O divine and great high priest, may the power of your mercy accompany them everywhere and protect them from the devil's snares, which are continually being set for the souls of priests. May the power of your mercy, Lord, shatter and bring to naught all that might tarnish the sanctity of priests, for you can do all things. And we pray for one priest, whatever, whoever it is that's on your heart to pray for. Oh, Jesus, eternal high priest, live in. And you can name who it is that you're praying for. Act in them, speak in and through them. Think your thoughts in their minds. Love through their hearts. Give them your own dispositions and feelings. Teach, lead, and guide them always. Correct, enlighten, and expand their thoughts and behavior. Enable them to give themselves entirely to you, possess their souls, take over their entire personalities and lives, replace them with yourself, incline them to constant adoration and thanksgiving, pray in and through them, let them live in you and keep them in this intimate union always. O Mary, Immaculate Conception, Mother of Jesus and Mother of Priests, pray and intercede for these priests. Let us pray for the Holy Father. Fill him with courage, grace, and faithfulness, Lord. For cardinals, archbishops, and bishops, give them your shepherd's heart, Lord. For diocesan priests, fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Priests and religious orders, perfect them in their calling, Lord. Priests who are ill, heal them, Lord. Priests in danger, deliver them, Lord. Priests who are weak, strengthen them, Lord. Priests who are poor, relieve them, Lord. 
Priests who have lost their zeal, renew them, Lord. For priests who are sad, console them, Lord. For priests who are worried, give them peace, Lord. For priests who are old, sustain them, Lord. For priests who are alone, accompany them, Lord. For missionary priests, protect them, Lord. For priests who are preachers, enlighten them, Lord. For priests who direct souls, instruct them, Lord. For priests and religious who have died, bring them to glory, Lord. For all priests, give them your wisdom and knowledge. For all priests, give them your understanding and counsel. For all priests, Give them reverence and awe of you. For all priests, give them patience and love. For all priests, give them obedience and kindness. For all priests, give them a burning zeal for souls. For all priests, give them virtues of faith, hope, and love. For all priests, give them an intense love for the Eucharist. For all priests, give them loyalty to the teachings of the Church and the Holy Father and their bishops. For all priests, give them respect for life and human dignity. For all priests, give them integrity, justice, and mercy. For all priests, give them humility, meekness, and generosity. For all priests, give them gentleness with souls and strength in their labors. For all priests, give them peace in their sufferings. For all priests, give them a great love for the Trinity. For all priests, give them great love for Mary, Joseph, the angels, and saints. For all priests, let them be the light of Christ and the salt of the earth. For all priests, let them practice sacrifice and self-denial. For all priests, let them be pure and holy in body, mind, intention, and spirit. For all priests, let them be men of true prayer. For all priests, may faith shine forth in them. For all priests, may they be concerned for our salvation. For all priests, may they be faithful to their priestly vocation. For all priests, may their hands know only how to bless and heal. For all priests, may they burn with love for you. For all priests, may their steps be for the glory of God. For all priests, may the Holy Spirit fill them and give them his gifts in abundance. Let us pray. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, hear the prayers we offer for our priests. Let them know clearly the work that you are calling them to do. Grant them every grace to answer your call with courage, love, and lasting dedication to your will. We ask through Mary's intercession as their loving mother. Amen. Keep them, I pray thee, dearest Lord. Keep them, for they are thine. Thy priests who lives will burn out before thy consecrated shrine. Keep them, for they are in the world, though from the world apart. When earthly pleasures tempt and allure, shelter them in thy heart. Keep them and comfort them in hours of loneliness and pain, when all their lives of sacrifice for souls seem but in vain. Keep them and, oh, remember, Lord, they have no one but thee, yet they have only human hearts with human frailty. Keep them as spotless as the host that daily they caress, their every thought and word and deed. Deign, dearest Lord, to bless. Amen. And in a special way on Thursday, we want to pray this litany of the most blessed sacrament in reparation for the evil done against the blessed sacrament and for the intention of a deeper love of and union with the blessed sacrament in our own lives. Lord of, it's by St. Jude Peter Julian Emiard. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy, Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal high priest of the Eucharistic sacrifice, have mercy on us. Jesus, divine victim on the altar of our salvation, have mercy on us. Jesus, hidden under the appearance of bread, have mercy on us. Jesus, dwelling in the tabernacles of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, really, truly, and substantially present in the blessed sacrament, have mercy on us. Jesus, abiding in your fullness, body, blood, soul, and divinity, have mercy on us. Jesus, bread of life, have mercy on us. Jesus, bread of angels, have mercy on us. Jesus, with us always until the end of the world, have mercy on us. Sacred host, 
summit and source of all worship and Christian life, have mercy on us. Sacred host, sign and cause of the unity of the church, have mercy on us. Sacred host, adored by countless angels, have mercy on us. Sacred host, spiritual food, have mercy on us. Sacred host, sacrament of love, have mercy on us. Sacred host, bond of charity, have mercy on us. Sacred host, greatest aid to holiness, have mercy on us. Sacred host, gift and glory of the priesthood, have mercy on us. Sacred host, in which we partake of Christ, have mercy on us. Sacred host, in which the soul is filled with grace, have mercy on us. Sacred host, in which we're given the pledge of future glory, have mercy on us. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. For those who do not believe in your Eucharistic presence, have mercy, O Lord. For those who are indifferent to the sacrament of your love, have mercy, O Lord. For those who have offended you in the holy sacrament of the altar, have mercy, O Lord. That we may show fitting reverence when entering your holy temple, we beseech you, hear us. That we may make suitable preparation before approaching the altar, we beseech thee, hear us. That we may receive you frequently in holy communion with real devotion and true humility, we beseech you, hear us. That we may never neglect to thank you for so wonderful a blessing, we beseech you, hear us that we may cherish time spent in silent prayer before you. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. That we may grow in knowledge of the sacrament of sacraments. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. That all priests may have a profound love of the Holy Eucharist. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. That they may celebrate your holy sacrifice of the Mass in accordance with its sublime dignity. We beseech you, Lord, hear us that we may become comforted and sanctified with Holy Viaticum at the hour of our own death, we beseech you, Lord, hear us, that we may see you one day face to face in heaven and rejoice with you there eternally, we beseech you, Lord, hear us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Most merciful Father, you continue to draw us to yourself through the Eucharistic mystery. Grant us fervent faith in the sacrament of love in which Christ the Lord himself is contained, offered, and received. We make this prayer through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. And at the end on Thursdays, we pray Padre Pio's prayer to Jesus in the Eucharist, asking him to remain with us all day, all of our lives. Stay with me, Lord, for without thy presence I forget thee. Thou knowest how easily I abandon thee. Stay with me, Lord, for without thy strength I fall. Thou knowest how weak I am. Stay with me, Lord, for without thee my fervor fails. Thou art my light. Stay with me, Lord, for without thee I'm in darkness. Thou art my light. Stay with me, Lord, and show me thy will. Stay with me, Lord, and let me hear thy voice. Stay with me, Lord, that I may follow thee. Stay with me, Lord, that I may love thee more. Stay with me, Lord, that I may stay with thee. If thou would have me be faithful, stay with me, Lord. Stay with me, Jesus, for though my soul is poor, it desires to be an abode of love for thee and a place of consolation. Stay with me, Jesus, for it's getting late. The day is ending, life is passing. Death, judgment, eternity are coming soon. Now I must muster all of my forces so I do not faint on the road. I have great need for thee on this journey. It's getting late and death is approaching. Darkness, temptations, dryness, crosses, and troubles beset me, and oh, how much I need of thee, my good Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me, Jesus, because this night of life is so full of danger, and I have such a need for thee. Grant that, like thy disciples, I may recognize thee in the breaking of the bread. Grant that the Eucharistic union may be the light which casts out darkness, the force to sustain me, and the one means to sanctify my soul. Stay with me, Lord, because when death arrives, if I cannot be really with thee in holy communion, 
then I shall wish to remain united with thee, at least through grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask thee for divine consolation, because I deserve it, but I beg of thee with all my strength for the gift of thy most holy presence. Stay with me, Lord, thee alone I seek. Thy love, thy grace, thy will, thy heart, thy spirit, for I love thee, thee alone I love. Let me seek no other reward but the increase of that love, that my love may be real and firm and practical. I ask no more than to love thee with all of my heart on earth and to follow thee with an all-perfected love for all eternity. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saints Rita and Jude, pray for us. Saint Francis and Claire, pray for us. Saints Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, pray for us. Saints Timothy and Titus, pray for us. Saint Barnabas and Matthias, pray for us. Saint Xenia, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth of Portugal and Elizabeth of Hungary, pray for us. All of you holy angels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, pray for us. Saint Benedict and Scholastica, pray for us. All of you holy martyrs, pray for us. All of you holy saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for praying for me, with me, and, and for me. I hope you prayed for me. And thank you for praying for our priests. Their ministries are upheld by our prayer. We look for greater miracles. And I think a lot of times we only see the fruit of our prayer in heaven, right? But do not be discouraged. Your prayer always has fruit, even if you don't get to see it right away. God bless you. I will be back tomorrow in the morning.